Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority, and today we're going to look at a new and improved addition to the Game of Tools, the Game of Thrones, whatever we want to call it. In this case, we're talking about Luxo Source. Now, we all know Luxo. Phenomenal ATS-CRM, one of the best in the market, one that I use. But what we don't know is about sourcing. So if we come into the People section, we go over to this little man that says Luxo Source, find candidates to add to your database. So let's do it. First thing we're going to do was well, you know, we need to figure out where we're looking. So let's see. Let's look at ah, United States. Let's do that. Current. Let's look for sales. I mean, you know, I always look for Java. Let's do something a little different. We got some sales. Let's see, we got two million nine hundred twenty-seven thousand three hundred fifty-eight billion. No, two million nine hundred twenty-seven thousand and forty-four results. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can narrow that down a little more. Let's go in here. Let's pick nine eight zero four two. In case you're wondering, it's where I live. Uh, let's go 50 miles and let's see what we get. Ba -na -na -na. 44,000 people with the word sales. Now, of course, realizing saying sales is a wide training. Uh, Eastside funding. We have uh, Walker's rent and Subaru. I mean, okay, really? So what we need to do is a little more. So let's pick up here. Let's do, ah, uh, no, not networking because networking now it's going to, oh, let's, uh, let's pick, um, let's put job. No, because Java will find us people that work at Starbucks. We don't want that. I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best terminology we might want to use here. Because this is rather interesting. Um, let's do, oh, you know what? Let's do VoIP. For those of you that don't know what VoIP is, look it up. It's voice over internet protocol. It's basically for communicating with people. So let's see what we got here. Income is a leading match for supplier. VoIP emergency. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. This is pretty darn good. 450, 40, 454 people. Actually, I'm being pretty specific. That's a, that doesn't surprise me. So let's see what we can get here. Email. What does that do? Fetching. Fetching an email. Okay. Let's see what it's got. I uh, expect to take a few. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is, oh, wow, an email is, um, these isn't a database. They're going out to the internet in all places and bringing it in. So some of these people might be on LinkedIn. Some of these might not be on LinkedIn. Some of these might be on Facebook. Some of these might be there. Some of these might. We don't know where they're coming. They're coming from everywhere. Okay, we got an email. That's cool as heck. Phone number, really? They're going to. Oh, wow. Phone numbers. Yeah. Wow. We got an other. Okay, we got a mobile. We got a personal. Wow. Impressive. They do have a, a uh, Chrome extension, which will find you phone numbers and emails, all pretty much mainly on LinkedIn. But this is pretty darn good. This is pretty darn good, because that is not exactly something, the most scum thing in the world you should be finding. A VoIP salesperson, really? I mean, mainly communication companies, obviously. Not bad. I like it. I'm actually quite happy. This is pretty darn cool. And it's just another tool and tool. But the thing to remember is this is one of the few ATS slash CRMs that has its own sourcing capability. And I like that. And what's really cool is you can buy the ATS CRM with this, with, just by itself. You can do it with the sourcer. You can just do the sourcing. You can do any of the other. But I really like, I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, contact info. That, I don't know what else to say. Contact info. So let's play the game. Uh, let's look at what the extension itself will do. Uh, let's get over into here. Let me sign into LinkedIn. Remember, Big Brother watches, so Big Dean does not stay signed into the LinkedIn. So let's get signed in. I ain't worried about it. You can see my email. The email's common. You just can't see the password. Why? Well, because I protect everything. So, um, you know what? I don't like to give up other people's info, so we're going to pick on me. Uh, not that I'm hard to find my emails right there. But it doesn't matter. The idea here isn't whether I'm hard to find or not. The idea is to show you that the tool works. So let's see. There's my Luxo. Let's do Luxo. It's fetching data. Now, it might be different because I'm already in their system. So it may not show up the exact same way. Plus, my email address is sitting right there. Um, but let's see what it does. And, and then, yeah, see, it said they already have this person. So th this was a mistake using me. So let's find somebody else that we can use. Let's see. Um, da -da 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 -da. You know what? Let's use Jessica Webb. I'm not even sure who Jessica Webb is. Jessica Webb is a Project 202 HR business partner. Yay. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, no guarantee they're going to find anything. A couple other tools didn't have anything on her, so there's no guarantee. But let's see if they find anything on her. This would be a good test. If not, I have a few other people we can test. All right, so email's not there. Email, 
Luxo. I don't see email, so that means they don't have one. This is how I would set up the email. It will automatically open up my email. This is SMS. That's for texting purposes. So they didn't have that person. So let's find somebody that I think they will have within reason. Um, oh, you know who? Let's pick on Miss Shannon, not Shannon Flynn. Let's see, Shannon, Shannon, let's see. I got a bunch of Shannon. See, I don't want to pick on Shannon at all. You know what I don't think. Now that I think about it, let's go back here. Oh, wow, let's do this. Let's pick on Kristen Fife. She's a friend of mine. We're going to pick on her a little bit. She, her, hers. I get what she's doing there, setting it up to make sure it's obvious that uh, for diversity purposes. So let's open her up and see. Hopefully I don't already have her. I've been playing with this a lot. So, and her email's right there, so that should be a no-brainer. Uh, ba -ba 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 email yay so it works this is how you add it to um your actual um if you are using atsrm can they type all that all that's pretty good here deal campaigns whatever this is how you'd set up to email her this is how you'd set up sms if they had a phone number which a, te uh, a cell phone number which they don't and it's pretty good so there you go uh it works you know what i'm all about the working so there you go that is luxosource the the abbreviated version um you know you have all the you know you have full boolean full boolean I put in all sorts of neat stuff in there. And then you have all this graduation year experience degree, blah, 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 and all the way up. Really cool. I like this. Uh, reset here. I really like the tool. I think it's a really good one. Definitely one to uh, look at and add to your uh, tool belt. Um, you know what? I've been thinking about adding something here. This is going to be really interesting. Every time I think I'm going to leave, I stay. Upstream. That's in the ga uh, gas and energy thing because you got up, upstream people let's get back in the un, back in the ussr but in this case back in the united states uh 465 160,000 upstream people see it says upstream economy now upstream is mainly you might see some weird stuff but mainly in the gas industry uh you might see a few other things because it's become more prevalent outside the gas industry but that's what it really has to do with um so if we come down here to this and we did oil and oil and energy, which is where upstream really is prevalent. You see, we got 130,000 people. These people are hard to find. These people are hard to find content info on. These people are just tough. Um, so I'm going to see what it does for Austin Smith, who lives in tech. No email found. Okay, well, to be honest with you, that doesn't surprise me. Like I said, these are some of the toughest people I know to find and to find content. And now, work email is a piece of cake, but just to find content information, it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't find any. It wouldn't surprise me if almost no tool finds them. These are really tough. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I'm wrong. Work email, we're good. So, like I said, I'm impressed. I like it. So, uh, looks very short. This is uh, Luxosaurus. A good source of tool finds content information. Chrome extension finds content information. My name is Dean DeCosta. The search authority may the source be with you.